MGA, Chapter 406, He's Actually Chu Feng. I'm truly goddamn angry. The school had clearly told Tang Yixiu to be responsible for establishing the sub school in the Ken province. Yet the result is him seeking pleasure for the entire day and he gave everything to us. One of the disciples said, expressing the unfairness. Ah, don't complain. Who told us to have an inferior position than him and to have an inferior cultivation than him? Besides, Tang Yixi isn't the only one like this. The three others from the Fire God School, Hidden White Sect and free and unrestrained valley are the same. They said that they are remaining in the Ken province to establish a sub-school so Chu Feng could be caught more easily, but in reality, the four of them gathered together, searching for enjoyment and not caring about anything. It has to be said that no matter how much more arrogant the young school head of the Sword God Valley, Murong Yu, is, at least he is working properly. Despite being young, right now, he is indeed diligently creating the sub-valley of the Sword God Valley in the Ken province. Who knows how many times stronger he is than our number one disciple. Although another disciple said don't complain on the surface, in reality, within his tone, it was similarly filled with grudges. Whatever, let's not mention these unhappy things. Come, let's drink. Come drink come drink. After finishing this meal. We still need to continue hurrying. If we can't finish this sub-school within one month, we will definitely be punished by Tang Yixiu. The disciples of the Yuan Gang School raised their cups together and drank merrily. Oi, I'm goddamn talking to you. You brat, can't you hear me? At the same time, the bald big man facing Chu Feng was also angry because he told Chu Feng to leave this table. Yet he had actually ignored him. That caused him to feel that he had no face and made things difficult for him. However, because the Yuan Gang school disciples were there, he also didn't dare to yell loudly. He put his mouth close in front of Chu Feng's body, suppressed his voice, and fiercely threatened, God damn, if you feign to be deaf and mute, do you believe that I will cut your ears off, and cut your tongue off? Seeing that you just spoke some truth, today, I'll spare your life. Chu Feng smiled and said, What, you brat, you dare to threaten me? So shamelessly say that you will spare my life? You are truly looking to die. Hearing Chu Feng's words, the bald big man gnashed his teeth in anger and he could no longer enduring his current fury. He extended his hand and wanted to grab Chu Feng's clothes. Whoosh but suddenly, Chu Feng's body flashed and without the bald big man even clearly seeing what happened, Chu Feng had already disappeared. When Chu Feng reappeared, he was actually standing on top of the table of the Yuan Gang school disciples. He asked, Who can tell me where Tang Yixiu is right now? Who are you? Seeing that, the expressions of the Yuan Gang school disciples changed and they couldn't help backing away one step. They cautiously inspected Chu Feng because his speed was really too fast. They didn't even feel it before. So they determined that Chu Feng was a martial cultivation expert. What? Is it possible that even you don't recognize me? Chu Feng lightly smiled, and as he spoke, he extended his right hand and gradually took off the grass-weaved conical hat, revealing his elegant face. And that appearance was exactly the same as the one on the wanted poster. Yo, you're Chu Feng? After seeing Chu Feng, the faces of the Yuan Gang school disciples who originally had nervous expressions instantly became even more wonderful. What, he's Chu Feng? Exclamation mark. At the same time, the others in the tavern also noticed that situation. After detailed comparisons, they discovered that the one currently standing on the table was truly Chu Feng. That terrified the people in the tavern. Many people were so terrified that they directly went under the tables and they were deeply afraid that they would be pulled down by the fight between Chu Feng and the Yuan Gang school disciples. The ones closer to the entrance directly broke through the doors and escaped. But at that very instant, the one who had the most wonderful expression was still the bald big man. At that instant. He was lifelessly sitting where he was and his entire body was unstoppably trembling. The chopsticks in his hand fell and his originally already ugly face became even more incomparably ugly, showing obvious endless fear. Because, just now, he insulted Chu Feng. He had actually threatened Chu Feng. That caused him, who believed that Chu Feng was very strong, 
to feel all of his hopes turn into ashes, and felt that he was very likely dead. Catch him, catch him, then we can take the large reward. Even if we are the disciples of the Yuan Gang school, we can still obtain the rewards. Suddenly, someone explosively yelled and one Yuan Gang school disciple took the lead to attack Chu Feng. Bang however, Chu Feng struck out with a single palm and that person's body exploded. He didn't even get to cry out before becoming a pool of blood splattering at the surrounding walls and spilling onto the ground at his feet. Bang 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 bang. Quickly after, Chu Feng threw out several more palms and with a blink, 17 people turned into pools of blood and died horribly. Young hero please spare my life, young hero please spare my life. At that instant, the face of the Yuan Gang disciple who prepared to attack yet didn't turn as white as paper and his eyes were filled with fear. Unhesitantly, he knelt onto the ground and endlessly knocked his head onto the ground while admitting his wrongs. Because, personally seeing the seniors that were just now standing around him alive instantly be turned into pools of blood by Chu Feng, he could truly not control the fearful emotion in his heart. At that moment, he could feel how terrifying Chu Feng was. How was the young man who is only 16 years old the trash that Tang Yixiu said he was? He was simply a little devil who was strong to the extreme and killed without blinking. I'll ask one more time. Can you tell me where Tang Yixiu is right now? Chu Feng slowly walked on the table, and only after arriving at the end of the table did he crouch down and question the Yuan Gang school disciple endlessly knocking his head on the ground. I dot I know, I know where Tang Yixiu is, but, if I tell you, can you spare my life? That disciple was quite smart. He did not directly refuse to answer Chu Feng's question, but he also didn't directly tell Chu Feng where Tang Yixiu was. As long as you can show me the road, I will spare your life, and I will also reward you. Chu Feng's eyes slightly squinted and revealed a dazzling smile that lacked any evil. But in the perspective of that disciple, no matter how he looked at it, he seemed more like a terrifying devil who was lightly smiling at him while embracing malicious intents. However, he had no choice. Even if he knew that Chu Feng would possibly not spare him, he could only chose to lead the road for Chu Feng because, he would at least have a chance to continue living. So, he stood up and said to Chu Feng, I am willing to lead the way. I don't need any reward and I only hope that you can spare my life. I'm begging you, please don't kill me. In my home, I still have a family of old and young. All of them need to rely on me to live. If I die, they will starve to death as well. Besides, I am only a tiny disciple. The school setting up wanted posters is unrelated to me in the slightest. Don't worry. I said I wouldn't kill you, so I will not kill you. Chu Feng grabbed that disciple's shoulders. Then quickly after, a burst of gale swept in. Chu Feng and that disciple had already instantly disappeared from the tavern. After Chu Feng left, the tavern was silent. People were trembling from fright under the tables and no one dared to move. After a long while, when there were still no movements, the two big men that hid under the table carefully climbed out. However, after they saw the scene in the current tavern, all of them couldn't help but gulp and their legs almost went limp almost fainting away from fear. Because, within the tavern at that instant, blood was everywhere. Not only on the ground, there was even blood on the walls and on the ceiling. That scene was indeed a bit horrifying. Big bro, big bro, are you alright? And when the two of them discovered that the bald big man was still lifelessly sitting on the chair, they were immediately shocked and they hurriedly ran to the bald big man's side. The current him had a lifeless face and the expression when he first saw Chu Feng still remained on his face. His eyes didn't even blink, and only after a long while did his lips gradually shut and he opened his mouth to say, he dot he dot he is indeed the same as what my nephew said. Very strong. Poof after speaking, the bald big man's body tilted, his legs went limp, and he had actually laid on the table and didn't move. When the two other big men checked what happened him for a while, their faces greatly changed because they astonishedly discovered that the big man had actually died. He was scared to death. MGA, Chapter 407, Gift a Huge Present. In the sky, within the white clouds, 
an azure dragon flew past, Chu Feng rode on the azure dragon while his left hand was carrying the disciple from the Yuan Gang school, he was following the direction the disciple said to go and hurrying, that disciple was completely terrified, he never would have thought that Chu Feng, a young man in the profound realm, not only could fly in the air, his speed was even so abnormally fast, he was even quicker than some heaven realm experts he had seen, he could truly not see through Chu Feng, he felt that the young man had no ends to his terror, and the more it was like that, the more uneasy he got because Chu Feng's strength caused him to feel too small, so small that he could not even take a single attack. Chu Feng you boy, you are truly planning on taking care of Tang Yixi U and the others right? They have four people there. And since there are the number one disciples of the four powers, who are titled as outstanding geniuses of the nine provinces young generation, they will definitely have methods that normal people do not. Right now, you are only in the fifth level of the profound realm. Even if you use the power of the divine lightning, you are only in the seventh level of the profound realm. It would still be fine if you fight against normal people in the heaven realm. But I'm afraid that there will be some dangers when facing against them for. Eggy already detected Chu Feng's intention so she hiddenly advised. The Four Powers, the Yuan Gang School, the Fire God School, the Hidden White Sect, and the Free and Unrestrained Valley, are currently putting up huge sums for the bounty. Sooner or later, I will go look for them to calculate some old debts. Right now, since the four of them are gathered together, it is a rare chance. As for whether I can defeat them with my current cultivation, I am not too clear, but at least, I have to try right? Putting aside that I can escape if I cannot defeat them, as they can absolutely not catch up to me, don't forget that I still have a few attacking talisman on me. With my speed, in addition to the might of the attacking talismans, they will not be able to defeat me. This time, they will die, without a doubt. Chu Feng was filled with confidence and he vowed to take their heads. I can truly not do anything to you. But this is fine. Since the situation is already like water and fire, appropriately letting those few powers pay some prices is something that should be done. Eggy seemed to helplessly shake her head, but on her sweet little face, a slight smile of yearning rose. The Kin province was very big and there were many strong powers in there. Many second-rate powers were even much stronger than the Azure Province's Linian school, let alone the first-rate powers. And within the many first-rate powers, there was one power that was very special. Even though most first-rate powers were very powerful, because of the existences of the prestigious villa and the thick ground grass prince's mansion, they could only have some fame within the borders of the Kin province. However, there was this one power which was different from the others. Not only was it famous in the Ken province, it was similarly also very famous in other flourishing strong provinces. Also, it received strong love and respect by male experts from many places, and this power even had a very interesting name. It was Light Drunk or Dreaming. The owner of Light Drunk or Dreaming was a mysterious person. No one knew who he was and the members of the like drunk or dreaming were all beautiful and extremely graceful females who had extremely high cultivation. They opened the gates, welcomed guests that came from everywhere, and they traded appropriate rewards with excellent services. To that point, there was already a guess in many people's hearts. The so-called like drunk or dreaming was actually a place of romance. In more unpleasant terms, it was a high-level brothel and who they welcomed were big characters from the continent of the Nine Provinces. T.N. Gongtsai is a title for more noble sons, and didn't translate it because it sounds better untranslated. Also, the dialogues below use third person in a way. Slightly lewd dialogue within a pink-colored palace, Tang Yixi was performing an indecent action with a coquettish female who was completely naked. The two of their naked bodies tightly wrapped around together and they were playing around to the extreme. Ah, brother Tang is still remembering about Zeeling and he can't forget. But quite sadly, 
Perhaps that Ziyuling has already went to find Chu Feng and maybe the two of them have already coiled together. HMPH, that Chu Feng really has some dog crap luck. He actually made Ziyuling love him so unwaveringly. He better not let me see him again or else I will definitely castrate him and throw his second bro to the dogs. Within the middle of the palace, there was an exquisite table. Bei Yunfei and Song King Feng were sitting on the ground cross-leggedly and they were currently toasting and drinking merrily. In their embraces, both of them hugged a beauty each that had a certain gracefulness and also not weak cultivation. Also, surround them, there were many females who had incomplete clothing while circling around them. Some of the females poured wine for them, some clasped some food with chopsticks for them, some pinched their feet and some massaged their backs. Their services were extremely thorough. Tang Yixiu, can you grow up? Zeeling is only a young little girl. Other than her decent face, where else does she excel at? In terms of skill, where is she superior to the ladies here? Within the palace, there was a red-colored big bed and thin fabric hung over the bed, concealing everything inside. Liu Oya was hugging two females with a naked body. He stuck his head out and howled loudly at the nearby Tang Yixiu, Liu Gongzai, all of you talk about Ziyuling here and Ziyuling there, is that Ziyuling truly that good for her to be unforgettable by you? A naked female in Liu Ziyuo's embrace seductively asked, ha ha, there isn't a single good thing about that girl, she is not even comparable to you two. Liu Ziyuo laughed loudly, turned his body and then pressed the two females underneath him, boom but just at that time, a boom suddenly rang out from the shut palace door and at the same time, the big doors made out of special materials were actually shattered. Ah, quickly afterwards, several males were thrown in and all of them had pale white faces with blood all over their bodies. They were the juniors from the same schools as Tang Yixiu and the others, and they were responsible for guarding the palace. Who? The sudden change surprised the four people in the palace and all of them cast their sinister gazes towards the entrance of the palace. Oh, we have only not seen each other for a small period of time yet you can't recognize me already. Calm laughter rang out and Chu Feng had already entered the palace. Chu Feng? After seeing Chu Feng, the expressions of the four all changed and the killing intent in their eyes became even stronger. One of them coldly shouted, Chu Feng. You truly have huge nerves. You clearly know that we are looking for you, yet you dare to send yourself to our doorstep. Actually, the reason why I came to look for you is because I want to send a big present to all of you. Oh, what big present? Send you all to die. MGA, Chapter 408, Battling Song King Fen. Ha ha ha, I haven't heard wrong right? Send us to die. You, you, a little cultivator in the third level of the profound realm dares to speak those words to us. After hearing those words, Song King Feng, Tang Yixiu, and the others madly laughed as if they heard the funniest joke in the world. Even the females next to them laughed loudly. Their cultivations were also in the profound realm, and they were basically above the third level of the profound realm. In their hearts, they similarly looked down at Chu Feng. Chu Feng, watch this. Without even me attacking you, the beauty in my embrace can easily kill you. Song King Feng pointed at the female he was hugging, then said to that female, Beauty, go kill this brat and 900,000 profound beads will be yours. Song Gong Tsai, is that true? After hearing those words, that female's eyes flashed and she was clearly moved. It was because she had the cultivation of the fourth level of the profound realm and she had heard that Chu Feng was only in the third level of the profound realm. So, if she truly attacked, she would really be completely sure that she could kill Chu Feng. Of course it's true. Song King Feng nodded his head. Song Gong Tsai, we want it as well. Me too. I want it too. After hearing those words, almost all the females on scene were moved. 900,000 profound beads. That number was too attracting and not a single person could fight against it. That number was already not a small one in front of a peak power, let alone female prostitutes like them. Ha ha, of course of course. The 900,000 profound beads will be given to whoever is able to kill him. Song King Feng laughed and said. At that instant, 
All of the females stood up and slowly walked towards Chu Feng. Their bodies were naked, and they were alluringly walking. Charming smiles were even on their mouths as giggling sounds came from them. However, at that moment, in their bones, Dense bloodlust permeated throughout. Although those females normally chatted and laughed, when they attacked, they were female demons who were cruel and ruthless. Female devils who didn't blink when they killed. Scram. However, before the group of females neared, Chu Feng's sword like brows slanted inwards and he suddenly explosively yelled. A thunder like voice resonated within the palace. At the same time, Formless killing intent also spread from Chu Feng's body and the group of females were blown back. Ah Tilda. Chu Feng's killing intent was extremely horrifying and the females who had originally planned to kill Chu Feng were terrified and they constantly yelled out in fear. Hurriedly, they leaped with their luring bodies and hid behind Tang Yixiu and the others. Song Gong Tsai. How is he in the third level of the profound realm? He is clearly in the fifth level of the profound realm. Not only that. The aura he gave off just now was very scary. I, I have never felt such an aura before. It was as if it wasn't an aura that humans should have. It seemed. It seemed more like a bloodthirsty devil. With a single word of scram from Chu Feng, he caused the group of females who revealed killing intents before to tremble in fear and they lost all their temperament. HMPH, a group of useless things. He is but in the fifth level of the profound realm. Yet all of you get scared to this state? Song King Feng waved his arm and pushed all the females who stuck onto him to the side, then after that, looked at Chu Feng and said, Chu Feng, it's time for new and old debts to be cleared. Speak, how do you want to die today? No matter what, I, Song King Feng, can grant you that wish. You want to kill me? Do you have the capabilities? Chu Feng disdainfully looked at Song King Feng and that gaze showed that he didn't put him in his eyes at all. What an arrogant brat. If I don't show some of my colors to you today, I'm not called Song King Feng. Song King Feng was furious. He emanated his boundless heaven power and instantly, it engulfed the entire palace. The aura of the first level of the heaven realm exploded out with unstoppable might and the entire palace trembled because of that. Die. After exploding his own aura out, Song King Feng did not directly attack. He stood with both of his hands behind his back and stood where he was. With a thought, the heaven power surrounding him was able to be used by him and it became boundless pressure as it swept towards Chu Feng. Rumble 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 the formless pressure was like a violent storm that could shock the heavens. Layer after layer. They came pressing straight towards him. The power should indeed not be underestimated. At least, with Chu Feng's current cultivation, it was impossible for him to defend against it. It had to be said that Song King Feng's strength was even a bit stronger than the two G clan elders in the first level of the Heaven Realm. But Chu Feng who had prior preparations was not afraid. Lightning surged within his pupils and the aura within his body, as well as his own body started to change enormously. With a mere instant, Chu Feng's aura immediately rose and directly went from the fifth level of the profound realm to the seventh level of the profound realm. Break. After his cultivation was raised, Chu Feng first explosively yelled, then quickly after, abruptly threw out a punch. That punch didn't have too much heaven shocking might, but it was controlled perfectly and it contained extremely strong power. With a boom, it dispelled Song King Feng's heaven power pressure and even Song King Feng's body swayed. He couldn't help but back two steps and he almost fell onto the ground. How is this brat so strong? At that instant, not to mention Song King Feng, even Tang Yixiu, Bei Yunfei, and Liu Ziyue watching the liveliness on the side tightly frowned and a hint of shock emerged into their eyes. Putting aside Chu Feng's instant rise in cultivation, even if Chu Feng was in the seventh level of the profound realm, according to reason, he shouldn't be able to break Song King Feng's attacking might. After all, Song King Feng was in the heaven realm. How could those in the profound realm fight against those in the heaven realm? You have a bit of skill, but let me see if you can still take this next one. Song King Feng was truly angry because his attack was broken by Chu Feng. The brat he looked down at. It caused him to feel that he had no face and he was incomparably furious. Anger of the Fire God. This time, 
he no longer restrained himself and he used a rank 7 martial skill as an attack. When that martial skill appeared, the entire world shook from its might and even the palace made by special materials could not bear it. With the violent tremble, countless cracks started to speedily spread and at the end, with a boom, the palace was shattered by Song King Feng's martial skills might. Ah tilde. Within the palace, even the profound realm females were unable to fight against the might and they were forcibly pushed back and they flew through the air. The ones with light injuries spat out blood, but the ones with heavy injuries had died on scene. What is happening? Heavens, there's people attacking in like drunk or dreaming, who has such big nerves? Don't they know that the master of this like drunk or dreaming is the mysterious expert? It's Song King Fen. It's the number one disciple of the Fire God School. Song King Fen, and also Bei Yun Fai, Tang Yixiu, and Liu Zi Oyao. These are the peak geniuses in the Nine Provinces young generation, people who has already stepped into the heaven realm at such a young age. No wonder, no wonder they dare to attack others here. With their statuses and strengths, even if they break the rules, I'm sure that no one would dare to do anything to them. The ones able to look for pleasure in like drunk or dreaming were all big characters of the martial cultivation world. Every single one had exceptional strength, so after hearing that boom, they hurriedly stopped their pleasure seeking and ran out to see what was happening. MGA, Chapter 409, Man Made Elite Armament That's not right. Look, the person who's fighting Son King Feng seems to be a young man. Suddenly, someone discovered that Song King Feng's attacking target was a tender young man, and looking at his appearance, he even seemed a bit familiar, as if he was seen before. Thadot that young man, heavens, isn't he the felon who's on the wanted list by the current six powers, Chu Feng? My gods, it really is Chu Feng. Why has he ran over to this place? However, when people recognized that the person fighting Song King Feng was Chu Feng, all of them were dumbfounded and they were greatly shocked. Who was Chu Feng? Perhaps before the marriage gathering, no one knew, but after the marriage gathering, most likely many people in the continent of the Nine Provinces already knew who Chu Feng was. After all, a person who was able to be wanted by the six big powers would not be a simple character, let alone a young man only 16 years old. So of course, it was specially attracting. Wasn't it said that Chu Feng stole away the elite armament discovered in the ancient remains which was discovered by the great powers? Why hasn't he used it yet? Seeing Chu Feng continuously dodging from the attacking might of Song King Feng's flames that rose to the sky, and didn't return any attacks, some people expressed doubt. Oi, that's not the important part right? The important part is that Chu Feng's aura is the seventh level of the profound realm. It's completely different from the cultivation stated on the wanted poster. Someone astonishedly yelled, the seventh level of the profound realm? Even if he's in the seventh level of the profound realm, he shouldn't able to fight back against a heaven realm expert right? Right now, that Chu Feng is fighting against Song King Feng who's in the first level of the heaven realm. Heavens, could this mean that Chu Feng is also a monster? He is actually able to rely the cultivation of the seventh level of the profound realm to exchange blows with Song King Feng, who's in the first level of the heaven realm? That's right. I heard from a person who participated in the marriage gathering say that Chu Feng truly is a monster. He had once fought with Ji King Ming and almost defeated him. Is it true or not? He's that strong? Damn. This means that the million profound beads stated on the wanted poster isn't as easy to earn as one would imagine. But when people discovered that Chu Feng wasn't suppressed by Song King Feng when he fought with him, all of them were so shocked they couldn't take care of themselves. Song King Fen, your fire god school's martial skill is only this, I'll let you experience the abilities of me, Chu Feng. Chu Feng had never used his full power, he was only using the bodily martial skill, the imperial sky technique, to revolve around Song King Feng and he kept on dodging and defending. But currently, Chu Feng's heart changed and he was going to attack, because, seeing that there were more and more observers, he wanted to let those people see how he was going to kill off the four so-called geniuses. Swish. Suddenly, Chu Feng's footsteps changed and he no longer backed away. He no longer evaded to the side. He stepped forward, 
and he pressed towards Song Kingfeng who was at front. One brat, what abilities do you have? If you don't mind, show them. Don't think that I, Song Kingfeng, will be afraid of you. Song Kingfeng coldly snorted and with a thought, the heaven power that encircled him started to change and it spun around his body. With a blink, it had actually became lumps of flames and at the end, it was condensed into a long flame snake and it headed towards Chu Feng who heading towards it. This attack is useless to me. Chu Feng did not retreat. Instead, he increased his forwarding speed and thought at the same time, causing the ultimate secret skill, the black tortoise armor technique, to be used. Boom. The fire snake attacked head on and it opened it big mouth and swallowed Chu Feng. He entered the fierce flames, but how could it be possible for Chu Feng, who had the protection of the black tortoise armor technique, to be injured by flames like those? He stepped greatly forward and ran within the flames. Very quickly, he arrived in front of Song King Feng and quickly after, Chu Feng threw a punch out. The fist that was covered with faint green colored armor dispersed the flames surrounding Song King Feng and fiercely slammed into Song King Feng's body. However, Chu Feng's fist clearly stuck Song King Feng's body yet he felt a gentle power dissolving his fist's power. The fist that could have originally directly caused Song King Feng to be heavily injured had actually only forced him a few steps back. This is, looking carefully, Chu Feng's pupils suddenly changed because he astonishedly discovered that around Song King Feng's body, a layer of radiant armor appeared. It was that thing which stopped Chu Feng's attack. However, that faintly radiant armor was clearly not a martial skill. It seemed more of a body of energy that got automatically released from a special treasure. It's those two bracelets, huh? Chu Feng's spirit power quickly observed, and he discovered that the special radiant armor came from a bracelet on Song King Feng's left hand. That bracelet was red colored and defense was written on it. On Song King Feng's right hand, there was similarly a bracelet like that and that bracelet had attack on it. Whoosh 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 just at that time, three bodies flew over and stood by Song King Feng's side. It was Bei Yunfei, Tang Yixiu, and Liu Ziyuo. Song bro, this brat is very strange. You alone will not be able to defeat him. It's still best for us four brothers to join hands to take care of him. Liu Ziyuo said. No need. He is but a brat in the seventh level of the profound realm. I, by myself can take care of him. Just now, I was only careless so he got some small advantages. Song King Feng stubbornly refused. Just leave it. If it wasn't for the man-made elite armament that the G clan gifted you, you would have taken quite a bit from that boy's fist just now. But on that topic, it seems like the gifts that the G clan gave to our school heads are quite useful. They are even better than what I imagined. Tang Yixi Wu first looked at Song King Feng then looked at his wrist. At that instant, Chu Feng discovered that on their hands, all of them had two special red-colored bracelets and hearing the words that Tang Yixi Wu said just now, Chu Feng roughly understood that the special bracelets should be the gifts given by the Ji clan in order to rope their several powers closer to it. Song Bro, Liu Bro is very correct. This brat is very strange and you cannot tangle with him. Or else, if he runs away later, that wouldn't be good to deal with. Let's finish this off quickly and take this chance to test the might of the man-made elite armament. Didn't Vice Chief G say that these bracelets are extremely magical, and something about attacking and defense as one, comparable to real elite armaments? We haven't had any chance to try it, so why not use this Chu Feng and test out its might? How about it? Bei Yunfei also said, sure. Let's quickly take care of this brat and not waste time speaking nonsense to him. Song King Feng attacked first. This time, the bracelet with the word attack on it had actually changed. A layer of red colored gas surrounded his body and his aura instantly rose. No matter if it was speed or power, it was several times stronger than before. MGA, Chapter 410 the body of the heaven realm. Song King Feng at that very instant was simply like a human-shaped weapon. Compared to the martial skills he used before, it was several times more terrifying. Even Chu Feng felt extremely huge pressure from his simple punch. However, when Chu Feng, who came to this place in order to challenge himself to see how his current battle power was, faced that situation, 
he would naturally not shrink away. Similarly, he threw out a punch straight at Song King Fen. Boom the two fists collided and instantly, a boom rang out, causing layers of ripples to sweep by. However, this time, Chu Feng felt his feet slip and quickly after, he was pushed several steps back by a burst of force. At the same time, numbing feeling came from his left hand. Observing in detail, tiny cracks had actually appeared on the faint green-colored armor that covered his left hand. Although the cracks very quickly disappeared, Song King Feng's punch still injured him. Chu Feng, even if you have wings, today, you will die. And just at that time, Bei Yunfei, Tang Yixiu, and Liu Ziyuo also released the power of the man-made elite armaments. They did not use any martial skills, and with only their physical bodies, they attacked Chu Feng just on time. Chu Feng coldly snorted and the dragon traveling through nine heavens was already under his feet. With an azure flash, it disappeared, and when it reappeared, it was behind Bei Yunfei. Eat my fist! Chu Feng threw out a punch and as Bei Yunfei was caught off guard, he was struck. However, it was exactly the same as when he punched Song King Feng's body before. Chu Feng's power was dissolved by a gentle power, and that power came from the radiant armor. Damn it! Attacking and defense in one. Is it possible that it's a replica of the armor of thorns? At that instant, Chu Feng lightly furrowed his brows because he had to admit that the so-called man-made elite armament that Tang Yixi and the others used was indeed a bit troubling. As he was taken aback, Chu Feng felt three auras nearing. Tang Yixi and two others had already started to attack from behind. However, Chu Feng was not too worried. He urged the azure dragon that he was stepping on forward and after dodging Tang Yixi and the others' attacks with strange speed, he changed his attacking style and suddenly threw out a palm. Roar. At that instant, the roar of a fierce tiger that could shake the mountains and rivers rang out from Chu Feng's palm. At the same time, a huge claw of a white tiger came out and slammed towards Tang Yixi and the others. Crap! Seeing the white tiger slaughtering technique that was headed straight for them, even if they had elite armaments as protection, and even if their cultivations were in the heaven realm, their faces still changed greatly because within the huge claw of the white tiger, they felt extremely horrifying aura as if the one claw could shatter themselves. At the same time, the three of them originally wanted to dodge but it was useless as the white tiger slaughtering technique was too powerful. Not only did it have outstanding attacking might, its speed was even faster and it didn't even give them a chance to escape. Boom! An explosion rang out, and the white tiger slaughtering technique had already fiercely slammed the three of them into the ground. The savage power instantly caused a huge pit to appear. Chu Feng. I will kill you. Seeing his three brothers being struck by such a terrifying attack from Chu Feng, Bei Yunfei felt that Tang Yixi and the two others didn't have much luck. So, he was incomparably furious and he attacked Chu Feng once again. HMPH. However, Chu Feng only coldly snorted. The azure dragon under him flashed, and very easily and casually, he dodged Bei Yunfei's attack. After that, Another white tiger slaughtering technique directly slammed into Bei Yunfei, throwing him towards the deep pit where Liu Ziyuo and the others were. Boom another white tiger slaughtering technique struck, so another layer of berserk ripples spread and the deep pit instantly increased quite a bit in size. The nearby palace buildings almost collapsed from such shocking power. Even many observing people were blown dozens of meters back by the might and some with weak strength even spat out blood from the shock and almost died. Heavens, how is it possible for Chu Feng to use such terrifying might? Even four geniuses in the first level of the heaven realm cannot fight against it. It's too scary. The attacking might he used just now was even undoable by some heaven realm experts. The people who personally witnessed Chu Feng's white tiger slaughtering technique all had complicated emotions and they had tens of thousands of thoughts in their hearts. They were deeply stunned by Chu Feng's strength. At the same time, bursts of strained heat started to be given off from the deep pit. The hate permeated the deep pit and rose into the sky. There was no way of seeing the situation in the pit. In such circumstances, Chu Feng could only use his spirit power to observe the state of the four people. However, when Chu Feng saw everything in the deep pit, 
he couldn't help furrowing his brows and a hint of shock flashed through his eyes. At that time, four bodies suddenly shot out explosively from the deep pit. It was Tang Yixiu, Bei Yunfei, Liu Ziyou, and Song Kingfen. At that instant, the four of them more or less suffered some light injuries on their bodies and faces. However, they were only light injuries. Chu Feng's peerless attacking skill, the white tiger slaughtering technique, had actually been unable to kill them. What's this? Even my white tiger slaughtering technique can't harm them. Chu Feng was very puzzled. That's very normal. They are in the heaven realm, and the degree of strength of their physical bodies are far from being comparable to the profound realm. Although you can use the dragon traveling through nine heavens to dodge their attacks, and use the black tortoise armor technique to block their attacks, it will be very hard for the offensive methods you grasp to kill them off. Besides, putting aside the strength of their physical bodies, the four of them even have a elite armament replicas right now. In this situation, no matter how much stronger your white tiger slaughtering technique is, it will be very difficult to kill them. After all, you haven't completely grasped the secret skill, the white tiger slaughtering technique. Just at that time, Eggie detailedly analyzed. Number. I do not believe that I cannot break open their imitative elite armaments nor be unable to destroy their heaven realm bodies. However, Chu Feng did not believe in that. He who had absolute confidence in his white tiger slaughtering technique used it once again. But this time, it was the same as a last time. Tang Yixiu and the others did not dodge and they were struck head on by Chu Feng's white tiger slaughtering technique. However, the result was the same as a last time. The four of them only received some light injuries, and to Heaven Realm cultivators, light injuries to that degree were simply not significant at all. Ha ha, what you just used should be the secret skill Vice Chief G talked about right? It is truly not simple. But sadly, when this secret skill is in your hands, its might it should have can't be displayed and it is simply a waste for it to be yours. After successfully defending against Chu Feng's attack, Song Qingfeng and the others had actually started to mock Chu Feng. They already heard about Chu Feng from Ji Yan earlier and knew that Chu Feng grasped a secret skill heard in the legends. But at first, they only half believed and half doubted. After all, secret skills were truly only in legends, and in the current continent of the Nine Provinces, no one grasped it. But at that instant, they believed it because when Chu Feng used the white tiger slaughtering technique, they really did feel unprecedented might. That might didn't come from Chu Feng, it came from the secret skills tiger's claw. It was might that was unique to secret skills. That situation was something they never felt before, so they were sure that it was the legendary secret skill. Oh, the heaven realm is truly a wonderful realm. It is indeed completely different from the profound realm, origin realm and spirit realm. Suddenly, Chu Feng smiled relievedly. After retrying the white tiger slaughtering technique yet it was still useless, Chu Feng didn't continue trying. He opened his right hand, and said to the four, Since your bodies are so strong, why not try my Azura Ghost Axe, MGA, Chapter 411, Blood-Colored Forbidden Medicine. After speaking, Light flashed in Chu Feng's palm and a black-colored huge axe that was two meters long appeared. After the Azura Ghost Axe appeared, Chu Feng's entire atmosphere was completely different. He was covered by layers of black-colored gas and it was as if he combined into one with the Azura Ghost Axe. The Azura Ghost Axe, that's the elite armament on the wanted posters which was discovered by the six big powers in the ancient remains. Seeing the Azura Ghost Axe. Everyone on scene were astonished. Especially Tang Yixiu and the others. They tightly furrowed their brows and fearful looks flashed into their eyes because from the Azura Ghost Axe, they felt the aura of fatality. They firmly believed that the axe was even scarier than Chu Feng's white tiger slaughtering technique. If they were cut themselves, they would definitely not have much luck and they would undoubtedly die. My brothers. The methods that this brat Chu Feng grasp are really too strange. His Azura Ghost Axe cannot be underestimated. We cannot be careless anymore. We need to take out the hidden trump card Vice Chief G gave us or else we will very possibly die here today. Suddenly, Liu Ziyou sent mental messages to the three others. As he spoke, 
He flipped his palm and a blood-colored medicinal pellet appeared, looking at its special shape. It was a forbidden medicine. That forbidden medicine was different from others. It was actually wiggling, and as it wiggled, it even kept on making horrifying yells, as if it was something alive. And after taking out the forbidden medicine, Liu Ziyuo unhesitantly swallowed it. At that instant, his aura suddenly rose speedily and from the first level of the heaven realm, he stepped into the second level of the heaven realm. God damn, we are actually forced by this brat to this state and need to use this taboo medicine. Song King Feng and the others looked at the forbidden medicine on their hands. They couldn't help but gulp, and there was some fear on their faces. However, even though they were more unwilling to, in that situation, they also didn't hesitate and one after the other, they all took the forbidden medicine. After the forbidden medicine entered them, like Liuzi Oyao, their auras extremely quickly rose and very soon, they climbed into the second level of the heaven realm. Also, blood-colored gas was like wiggling little snakes as they coiled around their bodies and swirled. Even their hair started to vibrate and their clothes started to flutter. Everyone look. What did they just eat? Was it forbidden medicine? What kind of forbidden medicine is able to cause even their strength, which is in the heaven realm? To greatly increase. The observers who personally saw everything all yelled out in surprise and they felt it was hard to believe. Because, even though forbidden medicine was strong, there was a limit and it was best for profound realm experts to use them. And even though heaven realm experts could get some effects, it would absolutely not cause their cultivation to rise greatly, to even break through a level. Right now, Luzi Oyals and the others or as violently rose and that was clearly not normal. Forbidden medicine like those should only be able to be created by a purple cloak world spiritist and right now, your continent of the nine provinces shouldn't have any purple cloak world spiritists. Even if there is, only the Zhang dynasty would have won. So, the forbidden medicine the four of them consumed can be counted as priceless treasures. It seems like they are truly going to stake it all against you. Eggie said, HMPH, the second level of the heaven realm, that's fine. If they are too weak, I won't have any feeling of accomplishment. Chu Feng lightly smiled, then quickly after, he suddenly waved his big axe. With a swish, a half moon shaped black colored blade of light flew out and fiercely rushed towards Liuzi Oyao and the others. Careful, the speed of the black colored blade of light was very quick. But Liuzi Oyao and the others who had elite armaments and the cultivation of the second level of the Heaven Realm successfully dodged. Boom the blade of light missed and it exploded towards a distant palace. Instantly, a berzer cripple spread and the buildings on the road were all destroyed by the black colored blade of light. I heard that his elite armament is able to recognize its master. It seems like its might is indeed quite a bit stronger than Murongyu's divine wood sword. Brothers, right now, there is no retreat. We need to throw everything we have towards this little bastard and let him know the power of us four brothers. Uyuzi Oyo explosively yelled and immediately after, his body flashed and he became a blur of blood red and flew first towards Chu Feng. You've come at just the right time. Chu Feng continuously waved the axe in his hand and the black colored crescent moon blades of light filled the air and flew. But it could do nothing towards Liu Ziyuo who had used the forbidden medicine. Not only did his strength rise, even his speed multiplied and Chu Feng's black colored blades of light had actually all been dodged by him. Very soon. He arrived in front of Chu Feng. In that situation, even Chu Feng's face couldn't help but change and he hurriedly urged the Azure Dragon under him to move quicker and dodge to the side. Damn it. It is clearly only two levels of cultivation difference from that day when I escaped the prestigious villa, yet there is a huge difference of the Azure Ghost Axe's might in my hand. It seems like even if this thing recognizes me as the master and becomes one with me, there is an inseparable relationship between my cultivation and wanting to use its full power. At that very instant, although there was no need to doubt the power of the Azure Ghost Axe, he could do nothing about its speed slowing. Facing Liu Ziyuo who used forbidden medicine and also had a elite armament, Chu Feng's Azure Ghost Axe could truly not do anything to him. Chu Feng, the might of your Azure Ghost Axe is strong enough, but sadly, 
it isn't useful when used by your hands, it is still best to give it to us so we can take care of it for you. At the same time, Son King Feng and the two others also surrounded Chu Feng and attacked. Seeing that, Azure Light flashed under his feet and he hurriedly dodged. When they were in the first level of the Heaven Realm, they were already able to cause Chu Feng's Black Tortoise Armor technique to crack. Right now, they had stepped into the second level of the Heaven Realm so definitely, they were able to break open Chu Feng's Black Tortoise Armor technique and perhaps even kill him. In times like these, forcefully fighting against them would simply be idiotic actions. But luckily, Chu Feng grasped the dragon traveling through nine heavens, the profound martial skill that infinitely neared the rank nine martial skill. So, he had an absolute advantage in terms of speed. Even if he was not able to defeat them head on, no one could be compared to his speed of escape. Also, the truth was like that as well. No matter how much quicker Liu Ziyao and the others got, they were still unable to match Chu Feng. Even Ji Yan, who was in the fifth level of the Heaven Realm, would be unable to catch Chu Feng, let alone them. Chu Feng, are you a monkey? You only know how to escape? Don't you grasp a secret skill? Don't you have a elite armament? Aren't you going to send us to our deaths? Try and fight us head on. Song King Feng and the others loudly insulted. Four bastards. Can't defeat me so you take forbidden medicine. Don't you have any shame? People in the first level of the heaven realm can't defeat me, who's in the seventh level of the profound realm? Do you have any face? As Chu Feng ran, he insulted back. It was called being relaxed. It was called being at ease. Chu Feng could use the dragon traveling through nine heavens to move quickly for several days and nights and he would be completely fine. It was simply Chu Feng's most convenient and quickest transportation tool. If he used the dragon traveling through nine heavens to circle around Liu Ziyao and the others, he could certainly exhaust them to death. After all, not everyone had endless profound power in their donchons like Chu Feng to infinitely support his martial skill. But Liu Ziyao and the others couldn't do it. They used forbidden medicine, and only because of that were they able to chase after Chu Feng. If the power of the forbidden medicine disappeared and the power of the rebound came, not to mention exchanging blows with Chu Feng, it was likely that they couldn't even stand stably. They would be like fishes on a cutting board and they would be able to do nothing but let Chu Feng butcher them. MGA, Chapter 412, Despicable and Shameless God damn, this brat is doing this intentionally. He is waiting for us to exhaust the power of our forbidden medicine then attack us after that. We cannot continue letting him burn us up like this or we will die. Quickly run. We need to leave this place. Finally. Liu Ziyao was the first to respond to that as he hiddenly sent mental messages to the three others. God, this damn bastard, he is this despicable. And after hearing Liu Ziyao's mental message, Song King Fen and the others also came to a realization so without speaking more, they turned around and escaped into the distance. Want to escape? HMPH, can you? Seeing that, Chu Feng coldly snorted and while riding on the Azure Dragon, he chased after the four people. Why are they running? Is it possible that the four geniuses cannot defeat Chu Feng even after taking forbidden medicine? When they saw that scene, everyone who was observing were greatly confused. But sadly, not a person on scene was in the heaven realm so they could only watch as they saw Chu Feng and the others leave. They had no way of chasing, so it caused many people to sigh and shake their heads, expressing misfortune. God damn! don't follow us. At that very instant, Liu Ziyao and the others had already flew away from like drunk or dreaming but it was in vain as Chu Feng kept on closely following them. No matter how they turned directions, they could not get rid of Chu Feng because when comparing speed, Chu Feng was originally quicker than them, so how could they escape from him? Ha ha, you bastards, don't run. See how your grandfather here will take care of you. Chu Feng loudly laughed and as he swayed by the four people's sides, he insulted them and even shamelessly pulled faces and made despicable finger gestures. Chu Feng, you better not get into my hands or else I will definitely make you wish to live yet can't, and wish to die yet can't. Song King Feng and the others gnashed their teeth in anger caused by Chu Feng because they knew what intentions he had by following them. Clearly, he wanted to wait until their medicinal powers faded 
and then attack them when they receive the rebounds. In a situation like that, the four also threw attacks at Chu Feng while still moving, but they were all useless and they could not catch Chu Feng. Chu Feng had also thought of using the might of the Azura Ghost Axe as well as his absolute speed to attack them while they were caught off guard to directly kill them like that. However, it was useless as even though the speed of the dragon traveling through nine heavens was fast, he could not control it as well as the Imperial Sky Technique. It was fine if he was escaping or chasing, but fighting close quarters was clearly not as easy. So, it was very difficult to use the elite armament to attack and at the end, he concluded with failure. Like that, Chu Feng and Liu Ziyuan and the others acted like so, for a while, you chase me, I run, for a while, I chase you, you run, like so, they repeated that over and over again for a full hour. Finally, Liu Ziyuan bit his teeth, then sent Mendel messages to the other three, it won't do if this continues and the four of us will die from this Chu Feng. Split up and escape, at least that way three people can continue living. After speaking, Liu Ziyuan turned, and he took off first to escape towards another direction. Bei Yunfei and Tang Yixiu also quickly followed and escaped towards other directions. Crap! And because the other's speed was too quick, when Son Kingfeng responded to the situation, the three had already left for quite some distance. Then when Son Kingfeng turned his head around, he helplessly discovered that Chu Feng was still following himself. That caused him to be incomparably furious. He almost went mad as he roared. God damn, they've already ran away. Why aren't you chasing after them? Why do you have to keep on following me? Because, you bastard, you were the one who cursed the fiercest. Don't worry, today, your grandfather I will kill you first. One day, your three other bastard brothers will follow you down. Chu Feng laughed and said, but within his eyes, looks of killing intent surged. Damn, if you have the guts, don't escape and fight me head on. Song King Feng angrily howled, no nah, no nah, no, nah. you're the grandson, I'm the grandfather. Fighting you would be bullying you. Chu Feng shook his head, god damn, if you can, stand still and don't run. Song King Feng insanely threw attacks at Chu Feng as he was in midair. Come come come, good grandson. Come chase your grandfather. Chase your grandfather's overwhelming back. Quickly chase and come. As Chu Feng rode on the azure dragon and flew in the air, he patted his buttocks, angering Song King Feng. Damn it, stop following me. God damn, stop following me. Song King Feng no longer chased after Chu Feng. He switched direction and escaped with extreme speed. But it was useless as Chu Feng very quickly caught up and he could not get rid of him. Bastard grandson, be obedient. Your grandfather is afraid that you will meet bad people so I'm here to protect you. Chu Feng smiled and said, Go die. In my entire life, it is the first time that I, Song King Feng, have seen a person as shameless as you. No. You're not a person, you are a shameless little animal. That's right. Continue cursing, curse louder. See how your grandfather will take care of you. Chu Feng, damn your ancestor. Very well, I'll remember that. I'll give you a lesson in place of your ancestor. Tilda. Finally, after a while of talking, Song King Feng's medicinal power faded away and the power of the rebound started to consume his physical body. Very quickly. He was unable to hold on and he fell from the air. Chu Feng, I dot I beg you dot kill me. Kill me, I beg you. Ah Tilda. After landing on the ground, Song King Feng started to fully suffer from the torment of the forbidden medicine's rebound. With a mere blink, he became a thin and weak as a match. Both of his eyes collapsed inwards and he looked the same as an alive corpse. It was terrifying. Looking at his appearance. He was clearly enduring torture that was even more painful than Chu Feng's that day. Song King Feng could not bear such torture, and he had actually begged Chu Feng to kill him. Eggy, what's happening? Why am I feeling his life force in his body disappearing right now? Looking at Song King Feng with that appearance, Chu Feng felt that he had no need to attack because the torment of the rebound clearly caused more pain for Song King Feng than him attacking. The stronger the power the forbidden medicine brings, the price paid will be heavier as well. This is the consequence for touching upon forbidden power. Perhaps without you doing anything, 
he will be tortured to death by his forbidden medicine because his willpower is too weak. Eggy explained. Forbidden power, I wonder how that Yan Ru Ayu is doing now? After hearing the word forbidden, Chu Feng couldn't help but think back at Yan Ru Ayu. After all, what that girl cultivated was a forbidden mysterious technique. At first, even her outer appearance changed and that power was comparable to divine bodies. Chu Feng, I'm begging you, kill me, kill me. Just at that time, Song King Feng pleaded towards Chu Feng again. His tone became extremely petty, and his pleading came from his heart. And seeing Song King Feng whose face turned deathly white, his appearance no longer seemed human, and his heart only wished to die because of the torment of the forbidden medicine, rare kindness rose from Chu Feng's heart. He walked to Song King Feng's front and said in a low voice, Since it is like so, I'll grant you that wish. Remember, be a good person in your next life. After speaking, Chu Feng put his hand on Song King Feng's head. Ah Tilda. At that instant, Song King Feng made another heart tearing and lung splitting scream because Chu Feng was currently absorbing Song King Feng's source energy. He was stripping away his life. Finally, Song King Feng stopped screaming and at the same time, his heart stopped beating, and he thoroughly died. How about it, Eggy? Has your cultivation been raised? Chu Feng impatiently asked after helping Eggy absorb Song King Feng's source energy. Because he was in a rush when escaping from the prestigious villa that day, after killing the two G Clan Heaven Realm experts, Chu Feng did not pick up their corpses to absorb their source energies. Because of that, Eggy quite often complained to Chu Feng. Even though Chu Feng knew that Eggy wasn't truly blaming himself and she was mostly joking, Chu Feng still felt sorry. This time, it counted as making up for Aggie, MGA, Chapter 413, Enemy or Friend. Not bad. I broke through a level so there's only one level between you and me. Right now, I'm in the fourth level of the Profound Realm. Hey Tilda Aggie sweetly smiled, and her smile was very satisfied. But Chu Feng knew that the girl did that intentionally. She was afraid that Chu Feng had burdens in his heart. So she pretended to be so content. Chu Feng was very uncomfortable in his heart. Even though he did not know how powerful Eggy was at first, he could imagine how extremely impatient an extremely powerful person might feel when they wanted to recover their original strength after losing their power. I'll wait for a bit more in the Ken province. If Zeling still doesn't come and find me, I'll leave this place and find some evil tombs. With that, not only can my own cultivation rise, Eggy, yours can become stronger as well. Suddenly, Chu Feng spoke. Things like evil tombs can only be met by chance and not found. However, some places will definitely have some. Eggy giggled and said, What places? Chu Feng quickly asked. Most of the ancestors of some peak powers, powers that have been existing for a lot time, are existences with powerful and deep cultivations. As the later generation, they are very respectful toward those ancestors. So, they would usually generously bury them and they would also send experts to guard them. Not only are the remains in tombs such as those complete, many people even put large amounts of treasures to accompany the burial because it is a way to cherish the dead. It is a type of respect to the dead. And I feel that other than emperor tombs in the continent of the nine provinces, the largest tomb should be the Zhang dynasty's tomb. But the Zhang dynasty is unfathomably deep and you also have no grievances nor hatred with them, so if you anger them with your current cultivation, it would simply be looking for your own path of death. Thus, I don't recommend that. Besides, tombs like those are mostly used by the later generation to respect their ancestors. They are completely different from the evil tombs and remains in the wild. If you go open the ancestor tombs of others for no reason, it is the same as digging up their ancestor's grave. Doing that is never too virtuous and I believe with your character, you may not be willing to do these kinds of things. However, some powers can be exceptions. Eggy giggled and said, but she didn't make things completely clear. What you mean are the Fire God School, Yuan Gang School, Sword God Valley, Hidden White Sect, Free and Unrestrained Valley, and the G Clan, which are currently listing me as wanted. But how intelligent was Chu Feng? He had already understood the intentions that Eggy indicated. For now, 
leave the G-Clan, putting aside that they have an old monster who is training in seclusion, you can't even defeat that G-Zingpeng, but you can try out the Fire God School, Yuan Gang School, Sword God Valley, Hidden White Sect, and Free and Unrestrained Valley. Eggy said. Fine, after a bit more time, if Zeling still doesn't came to find me, I'll leave this place to visit the ancient tombs of the Fire God School, Yuan Gang School, Sword God Valley, and Hidden White Sect. HMPH, since they join up to list me as wanted, want to take away my elite armament, and want me dead, I'll go kill their young generation and dig their ancestors' tombs. Chu Feng made a firm decision. After a few more days, if Zeling still didn't come to find himself, he would take revenge on the powers that listed him as wanted in the entire continent of the Nine Provinces. Afterwards, Chu Feng cleanly looted Song King Feng's cosmos sack and he discovered that the number one disciple of the Fire God School truly had quite some inventory on him. He actually had 37,500 profound beads on him. Even when the head of the Fire God School came out, he would not have possibly brought so many profound beads on him. Certainly, the reason why Song King Fen brought so many profound beads was for playing around unrestrainedly. After all, in a land of romance such as like drunk or dreaming, it was not something normal people could afford to spend, especially when the females Song King Feng and the others looked for were even the ones with extremely high cultivation. From what he heard, in that place, females with comparatively higher cultivation were more expensive. Perhaps only people like Song King Feng and the others could find females with that level of cultivation. However, to the current Chu Feng, the 37,500 profound beads were not really anything. Even if he was just a tiny bit away from the sixth level of the profound realm, the 37,500 profound beads were not enough for Chu Feng to break through. So, Chu Feng did not refine them. He stored them, just in case he needed them. Other than the 37,500 profound beads, there were even 10 low-quality heaven medicine. Those heaven medicine were a lot more valuable and their medicinal power was stronger as well. After all, what was contained within them was heaven power, which was far above profound power. However, because they were too few of them and they wouldn't have much use, Chu Feng similarly didn't refine them and he also stored them. Other than the heaven medicine, there were also some scrap items to Chu Feng. Those things were all not too useful. But it had to be said that the two bracelets on Son King Feng's wrist were indeed treasures. Chu Feng took them off to study them for a while. He felt that they were very possibly elite armament replicas that the G Clan created according to the Armor of Thorns. Although their might was very strong, they were clearly inferior to real elite armaments. Also, they required at least the Heaven Realm in order for their uses to be displayed. If it was the Profound Realm, there was no way of using them. But even so, it still counted as a treasure. To the Heaven Realm, those things had great uses so Chu Feng felt that even if he himself could not use it, the two bracelets would certainly be able to be sold for quite a nice price. After finding no small number of good things on Song King Feng's body, Chu Feng turned around and searched for a while. He went over mountains, tracked through water, and wanted to find Bei Yunfei. Uyuzi Oyao, and Tang Yixiu. After all, the three of them also used forbidden medicine and right now, they should be receiving the rebound. If Chu Feng found them, the three of them would also doubtlessly die and the treasures on their bodies would also belong to Chu Feng. But it was useless, as Chu Feng could not find any traces of them. It was as if they disappeared, so at the end, he could only give up. Later on, Chu Feng hung Son King Feng's corpse onto a large tree. Also, on the tree, he engraved four big words. It was, killed by Chu Feng. Chu Feng wanted to let the world know, wanted to let everyone know, that he killed the number one disciple of the Fire God School, Song King Feng. It was the price for the Fire God School listing him as wanted. Indeed, in less than a few days after Chu Feng killed Song King Feng, his corpse was discovered by someone and that news also quickly spread. It first shocked the Ken province, then quickly after, the nearby several provinces also knew about it. However, there was one thing that caused Chu Feng to feel uneasy, 
and it was unknown whether it was a good thing or bad thing. It was that on that day, he clearly only killed Song Kingfeng and hung his corpse on that big tree. But later on, he heard that it was not only Song Kingfeng, Li Ziyuo, Bei Yunfei, and Tang Yixiu, the four people that were chased by Chu Feng and escaped all died, and also, all of them were hung on that big tree and they all died because of source energy absorption. So, the rumors went like so. Chu Feng who was currently listed as wanted by six big powers went to like drunk or dreaming and fought the four geniuses Tang Yixiu, Bei Yunfei, Liu Ziyuo, and Song Kingfeng. The four geniuses were unable to defeat him, so they used special forbidden medicine, yet they were still unable to defeat him. As they were helpless, the four geniuses could only escape like drunk or dreaming, but ultimately, they were unable to escape from Chu Feng's demonic hands and all of them died miserably. When that news spread, it was undoubtedly explosive. It was undoubtedly shocking. It undoubted stunned the nine provinces. After all, the ones who died were the number one disciples of four big powers. They were named as big geniuses in the young generation. Geniuses like them were all killed by a young man called Chu Feng. So, how strong was Chu Feng? How scary? That caused many people to guess vaguely and it became the most common topic in people's spare times. Some people felt that Chu Feng was too impressive and was an outstanding genius. Some people also felt that Chu Feng was too terrifying. A person like that had to be removed, or else if they developed in the future, they would certainly become a bloodthirsty devil very possibly causing all living things in the continent of the nine provinces to turn into dust. But no matter how people guessed outside, Chu Feng knew that on that day, he only killed Song Kingfeng. The three others were absolutely not killed by him. So, he was guessing, who killed the three others, and was that person an enemy or a friend? MGA, Chapter 414, 100 Face Told Man Very Quickly the news regarding Chu Feng killing Song Kingfeng, Liu Ziyuo, Bei Yunfei, and Tang Yixiu completely spread and almost everyone knew about that. But after knowing, the ones who were most shocked were none other than the Four Powers, the Fire God School, the Free and Unrestrained Valley, the Hidden White Sect, and the Yuan Gang School. Currently, they put up wanted posters for Chu Feng, but not only did they not catch him, their number one disciples even got killed by Chu Feng. To them, it was simply a huge humiliation. Besides, Song Kingfeng and the others were disciples that their four powers very carefully developed for many years. Originally, they had heavy expectations for them, as they even planned to rely on them to lift up the banner of their schools to become the new masters. But now, they were killed, and they were even killed by the same person. How could the heads of the several powers accept that? How could they endure it? How could they bear it? On that day, after the four huge characters, the head of the Yuan Gang School, the head of the Fire God School, the head of the Free and Unrestrained Valley, and the head of the Hidden White Sect, parted from the prestigious villa, they gathered together once again and the place that they gathered at this time was the Free and Unrestrained Valley. Are we truly going to invite that hundred-faced old man to come? The head of the Yuan Gang school asked. I also feel that it is not appropriate. We are the overlords of parts of the nine provinces. Right now, to chase after and kill a single person, we need to degrade ourselves to ask for a killer. If this gets known, we will become laughing stocks. The head of the Hidden White Sect said. Right now. We have already become the laughing stocks that people discuss about. The wanted poster says Chu Feng is in the third level of the profound realm, but the strength he showed was the seventh level of the profound realm. He also killed our four disciples that we had developed for many years. We dot we truly have no more face. The head of the Fire God school sighed. Face is small. It's the lives of the four children that can't be wasted for nothing. Although Ziyuo isn't blood related to me, I have seen and treated him as my own son. Right now, he has died so wretchedly. How can I only watch and do nothing? Although it will indeed not be too great if the news of asking for the hundred-faced old man gets known, who will know that it is us who asked for him? As the number one assassin, 
Will the hundred-faced old man not be moved by our wanted posters rewarding a million profound beads? So even if we ask for him, from the perspectives of outsiders, they will only feel that the hundred-faced old man is unable to resist against the temptation of the reward and came out himself. Besides, this hundred-faced old man does indeed have some methods that normal people do not have. He is a blue cloak world spiritist and he's even an expert in the third level of the heaven realm. The most important thing is that his methods for tracking people is peerless in the world. There are only people he doesn't want to find, and none that he cannot. Right now, as we wish to kill Chu Feng, we can only ask for him. The head of the free and unrestrained valley said, That is correct, but his request is for us to pay 500,000 profound beads first, then he would catch Chu Feng alive. Isn't his price a bit high? If he grabs the money but doesn't do the deed, what should we do? Wouldn't we get swindled again? The head of the Yuan Gang school worriedly said, Yeah, originally, the sum of the reward for the wanted posters was paid together by six powers, but right now, the four of us joins hands to ask for the hundred-faced old man and he wants us to pay 500,000 profound beads in advance. However, we four powers need to tackle that sum. This is really not too safe. The head of the Hidden White Sect also felt that it wasn't too appropriate. The hundred-faced old man is ranked as number one on the assassin leaderboard not only because no person who he wants to be killed remains living, it is also because he has an extremely good reputation. He only takes the reward. Other than the reward, he never takes any part that doesn't belong to him. Besides, those who died right now are four children who we carefully developed. They have already died, yet you are still quibbling about some profound beads. Are these four children's lives not worth a hundred thousand profound beads? If any of you feel that this matter is not appropriate, you can back out. My free and unrestrained is willing to handle these five hundred profound beads alone. The head of the free and unrestrained valley was a bit angry. This. The head of the Yuan Gang School and the head of the Hidden White Sect both looked at each other, being a bit speechless. My Fire God School is willing to put out money to ask for the hundred-faced old man. The head of the Fire God School spoke. Yeah, free and unstrained valley head, 500,000 profound beads isn't a small number. If your valley takes all that by itself, its financial power will certainly be greatly damaged and its vitality will be heavy injured. Let us four powers take it together. The head of the Yuan Gang school smiled and said after thinking for a while, Yeah, it's best for us to tackle the price together. We also want to avenge our child. Besides, we must get the Dejra ghost tax. The head of the Hidden White sect also smiled. Since it is like so. This matter has been set. I'll contact the hundred-faced old man right now. As the head of the free and unrestrained valley spoke, he took out a special birdcage from the palace. Within the birdcage, there was a strange bird that was roughly the same size as an owl. The reason why it was called strange was because that bird had six wings. The price of a bird like that was extremely expensive. Only big beak powers could afford to breed them and they were a type of tool for sending messages. Their speed was like light and almost no one could be comparable. So, they had a name. They were called delivery birds. However, that delivery bird was not bred by the head of the free and unrestrained valley. It was given by the hundred-faced old man. To be more precise, them asking the hundred-faced old man to kill Chu Feng was, in reality, the hundred-faced old man recommending himself. Everyone. I'm sure that you've all prepared the profound beads. The head of the free and unrestrained valley took out a cosmos sack, and within it, there was already a hundred and twenty-five thousand profound beads. He prepared it beforehand. Seeing that, the other few also took out the profound beads that they brought and put them in the cosmos sack. After confirming that there were five hundred profound beads in the cosmos sack, the head of the free and unrestrained valley tied the cosmos sack on the leg of the delivery bird. Free and unrestrained valley head. Are you certain that it's the hundred-faced old man's delivery bird and it isn't someone borrowing it to trick us? Seeing that, the head of the Yuan Gang school worriedly asked. Honestly speaking, 
My free and unrestrained valley has done many trades before with a hundred-faced old man so I am very familiar with his delivery bird. This is the delivery bird that only he has, I am sure without a doubt. As the head of the free and unrestrained valley spoke, he waved his big hand and the delivery bird rose into the sky. With a streak of light flashing away, the delivery bird disappeared and not a trace of aura remained. Chu Feng still remained within the borders of the Qin province. With a blink, several more days had passed yet Ziling still hadn't came to find Chu Feng. And Chu Feng was also not in leisure in these few days. He killed countless disciples and elders from the six big powers, and within them, there was even one Heaven Realm Elder. Although the Elder was also in the first level of the Heaven Realm, Chu Feng didn't exhaust that much strength to kill him when compared to killing Song King Feng and the others. So, Chu Feng ended up with a conclusion. When his strength was in the seventh level of the Profound Realm, there was absolutely no problem killing a normal person in the first level of the Heaven Realm. As for the second level of the Heaven Realm, as long as that person wasn't too powerful, he could still fight. But if it was the third level of the heaven realm, it was likely that he could only run. MGA, Chapter 415, Begging Old Beggar. But that wasn't the important part. The important part was that as Chu Feng was slaughtering the people from the six big powers, he also plundered quite a few resources. Also, in that period of time, Chu Feng even participated in an underground exchange in the Qin province. The so-called underground exchange was a place where many big powers of the Qin province and experts from everywhere came to trade things. Many of those things very possibly came from dark places, but they were all priceless treasures. They were also the so-called black goods. So that was why it was named as the Underground Exchange. In the Underground Exchange, Chu Feng sold the pair of man-made elite armaments that Ji Yin gifted to Song King Feng. He got 50,000 profound beads from trading, so from that, it could be seen despite being only an imitation, the man-made elite armament was also priceless. Yet the Ji clan had actually gave things like those, all at once to the four powers. It could be seen that they were indeed roping those four powers with them. To be precise, it was five powers. After all, the current Sword God Valley also stood on the same boat as the Ji Clan. However, Chu Feng did not care about how the Ji Clan got closer to the five powers. What he was joyful for was that the elite armaments sold for high prices, and in addition to the profound beads plundered from Song King Fen before, Chu Feng finally surpassed that tiny bit and successfully broke into the sixth level of the Profound Realm. Only after using roughly a million and a hundred fifteen thousand Profound Beads did Chu Feng go from the third level of the Profound Realm to the sixth level of the Profound Realm. Also, his current dungeon was completely empty. It was like a bottomless hole, waiting for Chu Feng to find resources to fill it up. Chu Feng knew that even though he was only one step away from the seventh level of the Profound Realm, that step was extremely difficult. The amount of resources required was extremely, extremely horrifying. It would be several times a million Profound Beads. On that day, Chu Feng just killed another batch of Yuan Gang school disciples and hung their corpses on trees. Also, after leaving the four big words, Killed by Chu Feng, he put on a conical hat, entered a city, and prepared to rest for a while and eat a meal. Even though the present Chu Feng was listed as wanted by six big powers, and was a criminal that everyone wanted to kill, Chu Feng was not afraid. Instead, he even wanted to meet people from the six big powers, as long as they had strength that was inferior to Chu Feng, he would kill them all. If their strengths were too strong, Chu Feng could ride on the dragon traveling through nine heavens to immediately escape. The problem was that up until now, Chu Feng hadn't met anyone who could cause him to feel fear from the six big powers. Oi, what did you say? Another batch of disciples and elders died from the Yuan Gang school, and the sub-school they created in the Ken province was completely destroyed by him. I heard that Chu Feng is simply a butcher. He is simply a devil. The six big powers have quite bad luck to have angered him. Ah, if even the six big powers can't do anything to him, wouldn't Chu Feng have powers that could go against the heavens when he continues to develop in the future? If this goes on, he will become the second Azure Dragon founder. On that topic, 
I heard that Chu Feng came from the Azure province. Didn't the Azure Dragon founder also come from the Azure province? Why has the Azure province produced a monster within monsters? Yeah, the Azure province has stayed in dormant for several hundred years. I heard that in these several hundred years, within the borders of the Azure province, not even a single Heaven Realm expert has appeared, but right now, a terrifying monster like Chu Feng shows up. Not only Chu Feng, isn't there also someone called Zhang Tani? -e? That Zhang Tani -e seems to be even more powerful than Chu Feng. A long time ago, he had already defeated Song King Feng, Liu Ziyuo, Bei Yunfei, and Tang Yixiu. No, no, no. From what I see, Chu Feng is still the stronger one. Although Zhang Tani -e defeated the four, Chu Feng killed the four. Also. Zhang Tani -e at that time had the exact same cultivation as Song King Feng and the others, and his age was very similar to theirs as well. But Chu Feng is different. With the seventh level of the Profound Realm, he defeated people in the first level of the Heaven Realm. He is even a young man. He is truly defying common sense. Why does it matter who is stronger? Both of them came from the Azure Province after all. But it must be said that the Azure province truly shocks people surprisingly. After being dormant for several hundred years, two terrifying monsters appeared. They are fated to cause the continent of the nine provinces to go into chaos. Within a tavern, as people ate, their mouths were doing nothing and with excitement that shot everywhere, they discussed things about Chu Feng. Chu Feng sat within the tavern as he drank wine and ate meat. He listened to others talking about his story and guessing his cultivation. It was quite an interesting thing. In reality, in the periods of time recently, Chu Feng had already gotten used to days like these because no matter where, as long as it was a place with many people, the topic that people discussed the most was related to Chu Feng. HMPH Chu Feng is not far from death now. Just at that time, a tall male walked in, and as he spoke, he slammed a wanted poster onto the table. Brother, why so? Could it be that the heads of the six big powers have come out? After hearing those words, someone curiously asked within the tavern. The heads of the six big powers, a person even fiercer than them has come. Look at this everyone. The tall male pointed at the wanted poster on his table. Heavens, this is... And after people curiously walked over and saw the contents on the wanted poster, not a single person wasn't greatly shocked because, it wasn't a wanted poster, but an assassination poster. It's the hundred-faced old man. The hundred-faced old man titled as the number one assassin in the continent of the nine provinces. He has finally come out for Chu Feng. This is quite bad for Chu Feng. I heard that this hundred-faced old man is extremely powerful. Not a single person he wishes to kill can return alive. They astonishedly said, Of course, the wanted posters of the six big powers aren't much, but as long as the hundred-faced old man's assassination poster comes out, Chu Feng is not far from death. I believe that very quickly, news of Chu Feng being killed by the hundred-faced old man will come. The tall male confidently said, Hundred-faced old man? After hearing people's discussion, Chu Feng only lightly smiled and didn't put it in his heart. Other than Ji Zingpeng, within the five remaining powers, almost no one could cause Chu Feng to feel fear because no one was able to catch him. Even if they were the heads of the five big powers, it was useless, let alone the hundred-faced old man who had an occupation of an assassin. Shu Shu Shu, damn beggar, scram, don't affect our tavern's business, my lord. Can you be charitable and spare a tiny bit of food for me? I haven't eaten in three days. At the entrance of the tavern, some explosive yells rang out. The waiter was pointing at an old beggar who had broken ulcers all over his body and loudly yelling to chasing him away. But that old beggar was knocking his head on the ground and painfully begging. With spirit power, Chu Feng detailedly observed the old beggar, from up to down, his body did not have a single trace of martial cultivation aura. He was a normal person who had never cultivated before. Also, he seemed to have truly been hungry for many days. His stomach was empty, and if that went on, it was likely he would starve to death. MGA, Chapter 416, Mad Murdering Demon Chu Feng was not any saint because the world was so huge and there were countless unfair things. Every day, 
there would probably be people who died because of being wronged. Every day, people miserably met misfortune. No one could do anything about those things, nor did anyone have the time. But Chu Feng was not also any evildoer. Since things like those happened by his side and it was within his range of ability, his heart could finally no longer bear it and he wasn't willing to put his hands in his sleeve and merely observe. So, as everyone was too lazy to spare that old beggar an extra glance, and even hoped that the waiter could quickly kick him out so that their appetites wouldn't be affected, Chu Feng stood up, walked to the entrance, pushed away the waiter, then quickly after, propped the old beggar up and said, Old man, come over to my place and let's eat together. Thank you my lord. Thank you my lord. Seeing that, the old man could break from all the happiness as he endlessly bowed with his hands clasped in front. After coming to Chu Feng's table, the old beggar started to stuff himself with food with speed that was like a gale sweeping away clouds in the sky. He had actually, by myself, cleanly finished Chu Feng's table of good dishes. Old man, no rush, slowly eat, today, eat until you're full and it's all on me. Chu Feng lightly smiled, and after, said to the waiter, Waiter, bring a few more fulfilling dishes. Hearing those words, the old beggar suddenly gratefully smiled and said to Chu Feng, Young man, you are truly a good person, but sometimes, good people may not be rewarded. Whoosh! After speaking, the old man's gaze suddenly flashed and his originally benevolent and weak face changed. It became an extremely sinister complexion. And even though he still had the appearance of an old man, the feeling he gave others was already completely different. At the same time, the aura of the third level of the heaven realm was emanated out from the old man's body. A layer of blue-colored spirit formation also encircled Chu Feng's surroundings and sealed the tavern. The sudden change caused Chu Feng to be greatly shocked. He hurriedly leaped back and kept a certain distance with the old man, then loudly asked. Who are you? Whoosh the old man did not directly reply. He opened his hand, and the assassination poster that the tall male put on the table entered his hand. Quickly after, he said to Chu Feng, I take the money of others to remove the misfortune of others. Number one in the assassination world, the hundred-faced old man is me. What? Hundred-faced old man? Only at that instant did the others in the tavern slowly came to their sense. After hearing the old man's words, people were undoubtedly astounded and instantly, they trembled from fright and kept on shrieking. They originally wanted to escape, it was useless as the tavern was completely sealed and they had no places to escape. So you're the hundred-faced old man. You indeed have some methods to be able to find me. Seeing that. Chu Feng also no longer hid. He took off the conical hat on his head and revealed his true appearance. Heavens, he dot he's Chu Feng? And after seeing Chu Feng's face, the originally endlessly shocked crowd were frightened into being dumbfounded. Because, this was equal to two devils, who were the most infamous and had killed countless people in the continent of the nine provinces, appearing in front of their faces. If those two fought, wouldn't all of them die? Just at that time. With a thought, the aura that the hundred-faced old man gave off became strangely berserk. It had actually became pressure and it shattered everything from stress within the tavern. Even the innocent customers there were directly crushed into pools of blood. The people who have seen my true face must all die. As he willed, after killing all other customers in the tavern, the hundred-faced old man calmly smoke. There was no change on his face. As if the ones he killed were only ants and not worthy for him to show any pity. What a savage old thing. An existence like you is the true evil. Today, I, Chu Feng, shall perform righteousness for the heavens and remove an old animal like you. Although the pressure of the third level of the heaven realm was strong, it was unable to suppress the current Chu Feng. At the present, Chu Feng was in the sixth level of the profound realm, and when the power of his two lightning was added, he was in the eighth level of the profound realm. With that cultivation, those in the second level of the heaven realm would have no way of defeating Chu Feng and he could definitely fight someone in the third level of the heaven realm. Boom with a thought from Chu Feng, boundless pressure descended from the sky. Even the blue-colored spirit formation the hundred-faced old man laid trembled. Quickly after, a golden-colored long sword appeared in Chu Feng's hand. When that sword appeared, 
bursts of dragon roars instantly sounded. It was the martial skill Chu Feng got from the Void School that day, the Blade of the Void Dragon's Cry. A rank 7 martial skill has already been mastered. Not bad. Your talent is indeed special, and you are a rare martial cultivating genius. But sadly, the person you face is me. It's not that I look down on you, but with methods like yours. Don't even think of fighting against me. It would be better if you took out your Azura Ghost Axe, then perhaps I would leave you with a complete corpse. The hundred-faced old man smiled and said, He was not feared at all when facing Chu Feng's Blade of the Void Dragon's Cry. He even disdained it. So you're here for my Azura Ghost Axe. Chu Feng lightly furrowed his brows. He felt that the old man was indeed not simple. He was an old fox who killed innumerable people and was also incomparably sinister. A single elite armament is priceless. How can it be bought with a million profound beads? Although I have always believed in honesty when taking assassination jobs, when facing a elite armament, even my heart will itch. So, I will take your life, and I will also take your elite armament. The hundred-faced old man had an appearance of confident in victory. Want to take away my elite armament? Want to take away my life? That'll depend if you have the abilities or not. Chu Feng stepped forward and his entire body became a blur of light. The blade of the void dragon's cry in his hand directly stabbed towards the hundred-faced old man's throat area. However, just as Chu Feng's blade of the void dragon's cry was not even half an inch away from the hundred-faced old man's throat, he raised his palm, extended two fingers, and trapped Chu Feng's blade in between his fingers. No matter how much stronger martial skills are, they are only trash. Your martial skill condensed by profound power wants to touch my body of the heaven realm. Truly foolish thinking. The hundred-faced old man strangely smiled. Then afterwards, a burst of heaven power came from his two fingers and had actually shattered the blade in Chu Feng's hand. At the same time, strong force also swept towards Chu Feng, causing him to continuously fall back and he almost fell down. How is this possible? Why is this old man so strong? Chu Feng tightly frowned. He discovered that the hundred-faced old man, no matter if it was the degree of strength of his heaven power or his true battle power, they were both exceptionally strong and it was absolutely not comparable to ordinary people in the third level of the heaven realm. I entered an assassination camp at the age of 5, killed at the age of 6, killed all 33 companions who were also receiving training at the age of 7, and became an assassin at the age of 8. I am the quickest person to become an assassin in the history of the assassination camp. In my career as an assassin, I have killed a total of 338,541 people, exterminated 871 clans, and climbed back up countless times from the border of life and death. The battle skills that I have sharpened, the life and death tests that I have experienced, how can they be compared to a doll like you? Don't think that you can fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with me just because you cultivated high-level mysterious techniques, because you grasp fearless secret skills? and because you grasp a elite armament that can recognize its master, with your cultivation of the eighth level of the profound realm. In front of me, you are like an ant. I can take your life whenever I wish to and you have no place where you can escape to. The hundred-faced old man's eyes were like blades and killing intent flooded everywhere. The atmosphere of his entire person became extremely terrifying. This was a true executioner, a mad murdering demon who had his hands stained by countless people's blood. MGA, Chapter 417, Battle of Wits Killing intent like this isn't formed by the accumulation of one or two days. Only after killing countless experts can one have such killing intent. So this is the most powerful one within assassins? At that instant, even Chu Feng tightly frowned because he could feel that the killing intent of the hundred-faced old man was no joke. That old man truly had strength that could kill him. Since it is like so, I'll grant you your wish. I'll let you experience the power of my Azura Ghost Axe. Chu Feng coldly smiled, then light flashed in his right hand. The Azura Ghost Axe was grasped within his palm. At the same time, he waved his axe and a black-colored blade of light appeared and rushed towards the hundred-faced old man. The tavern wasn't really big and at such a distance, 
With such boundless attacking might, the hundred face told man almost didn't have any place to dodge. However, he did not panic without fear, and with a thought, a layer of blue colored spirit formation surged out of his brain and appeared in front of him. Boom! An explosion rang out and a burst of ripple spread. The spirit formation the hundred face told man condensed out and had actually blocked Chu Feng's black colored blade of light. But at the same time, the hundred face told man blocked Chu Feng's attack. He had already spun around, and while holding an attacking talisman, he broke through the hundred face told man's spirit formation became a line of light, and flew out of the tavern. The hundred-faced old man was not simple. With Chu Feng's current strength, it was very difficult to gain advantages if he exchanged blows with him. Before having absolute assurance, it would be wise for him to escape first. So, from the start, he had never planned to truly fight with the hundred-faced old man. He had planned to escape. Crap. He laid spirit formations beforehand. However, just as he flew out of the tavern, Chu Feng stopped in the air because he astonishedly discovered that outside of the tavern, there were even more spirit formations. The hundred-faced old man had actually laid spirit formations in advance. Also, there were many spirit formations. There were absolutely not only one or two. There were at least a dozen or so and it sealed the city, binding Chu Feng within it. What a cunning brat. However, how could I? who have seen your terrifying speed before, have no precautions before coming over to you and attacking. Just at that time, the laughter of the hundred-faced old man rang out again. You've seen me before? Chu Feng tightly furrowed his brows. He felt like the hundred-faced old man seemed to understand him quite clearly. Ha ha, without hiding anything, I am the master of like drunk or dreaming. On that day, when you fought Song King Feng and the others, I was on the side watching. I already know your methods clearly in my heart. You grasp two peerless secret skills. One is faint green colored armor that can protect your body. The other is a white colored tiger's claw that contains slaughtering power. However, your strength is too weak and you are still unable to use the true power of these peerless secret skills. Right now, what your strongest thing is should be speed as you grasp an azure-colored bodily martial skill that looks like a dragon. That martial skill is extremely quick. I have never seen such a profound bodily martial skill, so I believe that it has surpassed rank 8 and is a rank 9 martial skill. However, although that martial skill is fast, it is only suitable for chasing and escaping. It cannot be used freely as it cannot change agilely in battle. The hundred-faced old man indifferently said, Indeed. He understood Chu Feng's things extremely clearly. Ha ha, you do quite thoroughly understand my abilities, but since you know that I can run very quickly, do you think you can catch me in this sealed space? Chu Feng lightly smiled and said, What you're saying is that my speed of laying spirit formation isn't as fast as you running. The hundred-faced old man smiled and asked, Try and you will know. Whoosh! Chu Feng explosively yelled and the azure dragon under him had already flew and became a line of light as he started to speedily run in the sky. And at the same time, the hundred-faced old man also willed and laid spirit formations as he wished to and wanted to envelop Chu Feng. But he could do nothing as the speed of him laying spirit formations was truly not as fast as Chu Feng's running. You are fast enough. But if I shrink the spirit formation that is sealing you, no matter how much faster you run, where can you go? The hundred-faced old man was not agitated. He no longer chased after Chu Feng. He landed on the ground, and started to change the spirit formation he laid beforehand. Indeed, after he changed it, the spirit formation that originally sealed that area had actually started to quickly shrink. That caused Chu Feng to gradually become a bird in a cage because in that land, he no longer had space to freely fly. Ha ha, run, keep on running. Let me see how you will still run. Seeing Chu Feng who was forced to fly lower and lower and closer and closer because of his spirit formation, the hundred-faced old man laughed loudly. Damn it, damn it. In that situation, Chu Feng started to endlessly wave his azure ghost axe to strike the spirit formation that became smaller and smaller as he tried to escape the bindings of the spirit formation because if that went on, 
he would have no place to escape and he would easily be killed by the hundred-faced old man. But it was useless, the hundred-faced old man was truly not simple. Not only was his battle power very strong, even the spirit formation he laid was abnormally firm and Chu Feng was unable to use the Azura Ghost Axe to break it apart. Give up. In order to prevent you from escaping, I have refined no small number of spirit formation rocks for these spirit formations. Their degree of firmness definitely surpasses your imagination. As the hundred-faced old man spoke, he stopped changing the spirit formation and rose into the air. Because of the distance of space, he could already freely attack. With such distance, no matter how much quicker Chu Feng's speed was, he would be within his range of attack. Die. As he spoke. The hundred-faced old man grabbed, from his bomb, countless spirit formation chains explosively shot out and the spirit formation chains interweaved and at the end, had actually became a big spirit formation hand that was as sinister as a snake, and it aimed to grab Chu Feng. Damn it! Seeing that, Chu Feng hurried steered his azure dragon to evade because the spirit formation hands might did not allow for any underestimation. If he got caught, he would very possibly be forcibly crushed to death. Ha ha, run. Continue running. Let me see how long you can run for. Seeing that, the hundred-faced old man laughed and he also extended his other hand. Another big hand formed by spirit formation chains flew out and also aimed to grab Chu Feng. It was like a game of cat and mouse, and he was even smiling so intensely. Damn it. In the very small space, even if Chu Feng's speed was quicker, he would certainly receive restrictions. In a situation like that, the hundred-faced old man's two spirit formation hands forced their way closer and closer, and very soon, they were going to catch up to Chu Feng. Whoosh! But just as the spirit formation hands were going to grab onto him, a strange angle rose from the corners of Chu Feng's mouth. Quickly after, Chu Feng's right hand's azure ghost axe was grasped once again and the azure dragon under him turned and unexpectedly, it flew towards the direction of the hundred-faced old man. Its speed of turning was extremely fast, as if it wasn't restricted by anything. With such a distance, Chu Feng's speed was simply comparable to the speed of light. Almost with a blink, he arrived in front of the hundred-faced old man. At that instant, the face of the hundred-faced old man changed greatly. However, he was also not someone who was feeble. He, who was a blue cloak world spiritist, Notice Chu Feng's intentions almost immediately when Chu Feng turned. So, his footsteps changed and Baguas appeared when he stepped. He became a blur of light, and with clever angles, he escaped outwards. He did that because he had seriously studied Chu Feng's dragon traveling through nine heavens. He knew that despite the martial skill had very quick speed, it had a weakness. It was unable to agilely change directions, and even more so. He was unable to freely turn. As long as the direction he escaped towards was tricky enough, Chu Feng should not even think of getting near him. Whoosh! But just as the hundred-faced old man evaded Chu Feng's attack, he had actually followed him as he also changed directions along with him, as if he was a shadow. How did the dragon traveling through nine heavens even have a weakness? Clearly, it had already been thoroughly grasped by Chu Feng and became one of his moves in battle. With the dragon traveling through nine heavens, almost with a blink, Chu Feng caught up to the hundred-faced old man. Also, the Azura Ghost Axe was in his hand, and with wind tearing sounds and its unique horrifying pressure, it unrestrainedly chopped towards the body of the hundred-faced old man. MGA, Chapter 418. That everything, crap. This boy can already agilely control that magical bodily martial skill. I've been tricked. Only then did the hundred-faced old man come to a realization and knew that he fell for the trick because Chu Feng was already able to control the dragon traveling through nine heavens however he wished to unuse it in battle. Before, the reason why he escaped towards all places was to diminish the hundred-faced old man's heart of alert to make this strange attack. Even though the hundred-faced old man was surprised by Chu Feng's move, he was no ordinary person. He who had extremely abundant fighting experience was only lightly taken aback before he hurriedly thought, causing a layer of blue-colored spirit formation to surge out and it formed in front of him. However, he never would have thought that in such a crucial moment, 
an attacking talisman would appear in Chu Feng's left hand and the attacking talisman had landed on the spirit formation he condensed out. That attacking talisman was created by Vice Head Jiao. Its might was extremely strong and it could even break open the spirit formations that Ji Yan laid. The hundred faced old man's spirit formation had no way of fighting back. Boom, an explosion rang out and the hundred faced old man's spirit formation had been broke open. At the same time, Chu Feng's Azura Ghost Axe had fiercely chopped onto the body of the hundred-faced old man. Ah, a painful cry rang out and a thin line of blood gushed out. The hundred-faced old man became a line of light and fell. At the end, he fiercely fell onto the ground underneath and a deep, huge pit was created. Some dense smoke also charged into the air. That's not right. However, Chu Feng who had extremely sensitive spirit power did not feel happy because he struck the hundred-faced old man. Instead, he tightly furrowed his brows and tightly stared at the rolling smoke underneath and a hint of uneasiness rose from his heart. Because, he astonishedly discovered that as his axe chopped onto the body of the hundred-faced old man, there was some power that dissolved the might of his attack and caused the power of the Azure Ghost Axe to be unable to be fully used. Chu Feng didn't kill the hundred-faced old man from that chop of the axe. Damn cunning brat. If I didn't have this elite armament as protection, I would have taken quite a hit. Indeed, just as Chu Feng felt that something was off, the hundred-faced old man became a line of light and from the rolling dense smoke, he gradually rose into the air. There were still traces of blood on the corners of the current him. His face was also a bit white and there was also a blood wound on his chest, but he did not receive the fatal blow. Also, there was a layer of radiant armor surrounding his body. Looking at its appearance, it had the exact same effect as the bracelets Song King Feng and the others used. Without a doubt, it was the radiant armor that saved his life. Bei Yunfei, Liu Ziyuo, and Tang Yixi were killed by you? Chu Feng's eyes glittered as he loudly questioned. That's right. They were all killed by me. I intentionally killed them, then pushed the crime onto your head to cause the four big powers to be greatly angry at the same time. Then, I recommended myself so they would ask for me to kill you. The hundred-faced old man replied. So it's like this. But I don't understand. If you want to kill me, you could have done it back then. Why did you need to wait until now? Also. If you want the reward, you could have gotten it after you killed me. Why did you need to so troublingly recommend yourself? Chu Fink puzzledly asked. The reason is very simple. I want your elite armament, but I also want the reward. So, I got them to pay me half of the reward first then I would kill you afterwards. With this, even if I go back on the contract, I won't lose much. But the four big powers aren't idiots. No matter how much better my reputation is, they wouldn't give me 500,000 profound beads for no reason at all. After all, even to them, it is not a small number. So, I had to make them more furious so they impatiently wanted to kill you without being able to wait for a single moment. And currently, I have already succeeded. Right now, the last step is to take away your life and take your elite armament. The hundred-faced old man said. That means you have 500,000 profound beads on you? Chu Feng intentionally asked after a thought in his heart. Ha ha, boy, you aren't thinking about my profound beads right? Hearing the implications within Chu Feng's words, the hundred-faced old man couldn't help but loudly laugh and within his a laughter, mock was filled. Actually, I want to say that I'll be taking your 500,000 profound beads. Whoosh. Suddenly. Chu Feng leaped, became a line of light, and flew straight towards the hundred-faced old man. HMPH, you think that I, right now, will still be afraid of you? However, the hundred-faced old man was not afraid in the slightest and he had actually flew back towards Chu Feng. Boom 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 boom. With a blink, the two of them fought together. Ripples of powerful energy constantly exploded in the sky and they were as striking as fireworks. That scene caused the citizens in the city who were looking to be dumbstruck. At present, the city was sealed by layers of spirit formation and the people in the city could not escape. At first, they didn't know what was happening, but after seeing Chu Feng and the hundred-faced old man in the sky, they finally knew what was happening. 
so the hundred face told man was there to chase after Chu Feng, and that city became the battlefield of the two people. But luckily, the hundred face told man laid many spirit formations, and to limit Chu Feng's speed, he even specially shrunk the range of the spirit formation inside. That also caused their circle of battle to shrink, causing the citizens within the city to not be affected, or else, with their strengths and after a while of great battle, the city would certainly be flattened and the citizens of the city would also die. With the man-made elite armament, the hundred-faced old man's speed and power increased greatly. They were even several times stronger than before, and he who was extremely practiced in spirit formation techniques was already one with attack and defense. As for Chu Feng, the attacking might of him, who grasped a elite armament was also not to be underestimated, especially when joined with his absolute speed, even the hundred-faced old man didn't dare to be careless. The battle between the two was extremely intense, with the cultivation of the eighth level of the profound realm, and with special methods and outstanding skills, the result of the battle was extremely difficult to determine when he was fighting the hundred-faced old man, the number one assassin in the third level of the heaven realm. An ending did not appear even after battling for several hours. Brat, I must admit that you are a genius. Being already so outstanding at this age, if you step into the heaven realm in the future, perhaps even the Zhang dynasty must look at you straight. But sadly, today, you will die by my hands. My patience has been completely whittled away and I don't that time to continue fooling around here with you. Let's quickly finish this. The hundred-faced old man flashed and got rid of Chu Feng. Quickly after, he landed underneath and changed the spirit formation once again. He wanted to shrink the battle space even more so that Chu Feng would not have a strand of chance to escape. With that, he could easily put Chu Feng to death. Damn it. It seems like I can only use that to give it a try. Chu Feng was quite smart so he immediately understood the hundred-faced old man's intentions. He first swept his gaze for a while, then after looking at the city that was covered by layers of spirit formations, quickly after, his gaze suddenly turned fierce and he leaped, then dashed towards the hundred-faced old man who was changing the spirit formation. MGA. Chapter 419, Illusion Method HMPH, you want to stop me from changing the formation? He is useless. I, as a blue cloak world spiritist, in terms of defense methods, am far above you. Don't even think of touching me. The hundred-faced old man coldly snorted. A layer of blue-colored spirit formation surrounded him and protected him inside. The final two attacking talismans. Victory or defeat will be decided by this. However, Chu Feng did not move slowly. His palm lightly brushed past his cosmos sack and the remaining two attacking talismans appeared in his palm. He first threw one at the spirit formation, and with a boom. The spirit formation the hundred-faced old man laid was shattered by Chu Feng's attacking talisman. HMPH, I would quite like to see how many more of these overbearing attacking talismans you have. The hundred-faced old man coldly snorted, and wanted to recondense a spirit formation to defend against Chu Feng. I'm afraid you won't have this chance. But just at that time, Radiance greatly bloomed and the faint green-colored armor had actually gave off a large area of white-colored fog, instantly engulfing the hundred-faced old man. This is... At that instant, even the hundred-faced old man's expression couldn't help but change greatly and at the same time, he retreated a few steps. Because, he astonishedly discovered that in front of him, in Chu Feng's previous position, an extremely terrifying huge beast appeared. That huge beast was faint green colored, and it seemed like an invulnerable huge tortoise. But on the body of the tortoise, an extremely horrifying huge snake coiled around it. The snake and tortoise seemed to be one, and they emanated extremely terrifying aura. What is happening? How did Chu Feng suddenly become such a terrifying monster? Is it possible that the reason he defied common sense is because he was never a human in the first place? Can it be that he's a horrifying monster? Just in that split moment, the hundred-faced old man was scared, because within the monster in front of him, he felt an extremely terrifying aura. It was an aura that suppressed his, an aura that he could not fight against. Wait, this is an illusion. But suddenly, 
The eyes of the hundred-faced old man flashed and his expression changed. He, as a blue cloak world spiritist, felt that the monster in front of his eyes wasn't real, and seemed more like an illusion. Thinking to that point, he hurriedly condensed spirit power to break the illusion in front of him. As expected, just as his spirit power became condensed, the monster in front of his eyes started to fade away. Crap. However, as he broke the illusion, he did not celebrate because of that. Instead, unprecedented fear surged on his face because at that very instant, an extremely horrifying attacking talisman, at that moment, had already landed on his chest. Boom. A rumble exploded in front of the hundred-faced old man's chest, and instantly, he miserably cried out, was thrown dozens of meters away, fiercely collided into the spirit formation that he laid himself then powerlessly fell limply onto the ground. At that instant, although the hundred-faced old man's four limbs were still complete, there was a huge hole in his chest. His dungeon was already damaged, his organs were ruined, and he was vomiting mouthfuls of black blood and his body was endlessly twitching when fallen on the ground. I never would have thought that even this attacking talisman couldn't directly take his life away. No wonder even my Azura Ghost Axe was unable to harm him. So this is the power of a Heaven Realm body? Looking at the hundred-faced old man who fell onto the ground, constantly twitched, and had already lost power to fight, Chu Feng muttered to himself and his face was filled with an emotional expression. Although he knew the reason why the hundred-faced old man's physical body was so strong was indeed partly due to the man-made elite armament, his original body was extremely strong as well. Or else, he wouldn't have been able to use the power of the man-made elite armament. This time, even though Chu Feng won against the hundred-faced old man, it was a risky victory and he also relied on an unexpected surprise attack. It could be said that the reason why Chu Feng won against the hundred-faced old man was because he didn't rely on his own body's strength, but his own wits and that single strand of luck. In the past few days, although he was killing the disciples of the six big powers everywhere, he was simultaneously honing his own battle techniques. The reason why the dragon traveling through nine heavens was able to be freely used by him in battle was the result of the past few days. Other than that, Chu Feng even comprehended the illusion method of the black tortoise armor technique. Just now, he used the illusion method to bring the hundred-faced old man into a dulled state so he could not continue condensing spirit formations and it gave Chu Feng a chance to heavily injure him with the attacking talisman. To be more precise, what Chu Feng relied on in his surprise attack was the illusion method of the black tortoise armor technique as well as the attacking talisman vice head Jiao gave him. That was Chu Feng's final trump card. If he failed, he would die, but he succeeded. Because, no matter if the hundred-faced old man had even more abundant battle experience, was even more cunning as a person. He never would have expected Chu Feng to be able to grasp illusion methods. He even didn't need to lay spirit formations and he could use it with only a thought. Exactly because of that carelessness, he took a great hit. At that instant, Chu Feng truly couldn't help but want to sigh in admiration towards the master of the Emperor Tomb because he created such a strong secret skill. Otherwise, truly, Chu Feng wouldn't have had that much luck. Chu Feng. This isn't good. He wants to condense a consciousness. Suddenly, Eggy nervously reminded. Only at that instant did Chu Feng discover that the hundred-faced old man was indeed condensing his consciousness. Although his dantian was already damaged and his cultivation cultivated in many years was flowing away, his consciousness was still equipped with a portion of his cultivation. If his condensation was successful, it would not be a small trouble to Chu Feng. I'm sorry. But it's better if you die away peacefully. Chu Feng waved the Azura Ghost Axe in his hand and chopped towards the neck of the hundred-faced old man and cut off his everything. New Tilda in response, the hundred-faced old man who was already heavily injured yelled extremely bitterly and loudly. However, Chu Feng had no mercy. With a poof, the head of the hundred-faced old man fell onto the ground, and at the same time, the consciousness he was condensing was also shattered by the power of the Azura Ghost Axe. The hundred-faced old man thoroughly became a dead person and there was not a trace of aura remaining. Ha ha, Chu Feng you boy, not bad. What you've done today was beautiful. You won an unwinnable battle, 
and I truly look at you in another light. Quick, absorb this old guy's source energy. The fresh source energy of the third level of the heaven realm should be able to help me break into the fifth level of the profound realm, and there's even a possibility that I break into the sixth level of the profound realm. Eggie happily shouted. Chu Feng also didn't move slow and he hurriedly helped Eggie to absorb the hundred-faced old man's source energy. Just as Eggie thought, her cultivation indeed rose from the fourth level of the profound realm to the fifth level of the profound realm. Although she was unable to reach the sixth level of the profound realm, there wasn't much to it. Afterwards, Chu Feng checked the hundred-faced old man's cosmos sack. The seemingly insignificant check caused Chu Feng to be instantly endlessly elated because the hundred-faced old man's cosmos sack was truly a huge treasure trove. MGA, Chapter 420, Arrival of Li Xing Within the hundred-faced old man's cosmos sack, there were profound beads. There were over 623,500 beads, and other than those, there were even 23 low-quality heaven medicine and there was a single medium-quality heaven medicine. And other than those cultivation resources, there was even a special world spirit compass. That world spirit compass was golden-colored. It seemed to be created by gold, yet it was not gold. Radiance did not flash everywhere, but there was plenty of texture. Anyway, it was extremely special. Speaking with Aggie's words, it was a high-quality world spirit compass. Who knew how many times stronger it was than Chu Feng's? It was a priceless object, and all in all, it was an extremely rare good thing. Other than the special world spirit compass, there was even a world spirit blue cloak and a large amounts of spirit formation rocks. Those spirit formation rocks could be placed within spirit formations and it could cause the might of the spirit formation to become even stronger, but because the prices for them were too high, very few people were willing to add those things when laying spirit formations. But within the hundred face old man's cosmos sack, there was an extremely terrifying amount of spirit formation rocks. Over 300,000. Even if Chu Feng used spirit formation rocks every day, the large number of rocks would be enough for him to use for many years. Other than things world spiritists used, there were even many precious treasures. For example, Man made elite armaments. Within his cosmos sack, there were even two sets of those. In addition to the ones on his wrists, there were three sets. It could be seen that Liu Ziyuo, Tang Yixiu, and Bei Yunfei were indeed killed by the hundred faced old man, but it had to be said that this time, Chu Feng had earned greatly. Ha <laughs> ha, truly, as expected of the hundred faced old man. The number one assassin in the continent of the nine provinces. It seems like he has really quite a few treasures stored. His cosmos sack is simply a huge treasure trove. Chu Feng could almost dance from excitement because that was definitely a huge sum of wealth. Perhaps the wealth the hundred faced old man gained from killing a lifetime of people and accumulated for his entire lifetime all landed into Chu Feng's hands. Over 623,500 profound beads, in addition to 23 low quality heaven medicine and one medium quality medicine. Even if they couldn't help Chu Feng break into the seventh level of the profound realm, it would still become quite a good foundation. Besides, throwing the cultivation resources on the side, every single item in the hundred faced old man's cosmos sack or the so called priceless treasures things that were extremely expensive. If he sold those, their prices would even be far above the cultivation resources. It had to be said that in the hundred-faced old man's life, he truly obtained quite some wealth. Although it was impossible to be compared to peak powers like the prestigious villa, it was also not comparable to second-rate powers. But sadly, it went all to Chu Feng. Crap. Although the hundred-faced old man has died, the spirit formation he laid is still here. Blue colored spirit formations. My current methods cannot break it and I have even used up my final attacking talisman. Doesn't this mean that I'm like a turtle in an earthen jar, and that I'm trapped in here? But just as the happiness arrived, Chu Feng's face couldn't help but freeze and after that, black lines appeared on his forehead because when he raised his head, he discovered that the layers of blue-colored spirit formations were still there. That thing could imprison him to death. If he was unable to escape this place, 
By the time someone notified the six big powers and sent the heads over to catch Chu Feng, Chu Feng would really not be able to escape then. Boom. However, just as Chu Feng panicked, a deafening rumble rang from the outside of the city. Even the land under Chu Feng's feet slightly trembled from the rumble. Boom 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 quickly after, several rumbles continuously rang out and at that instant, Chu Feng astonishedly discovered that the layers of spirit formations which sealed the city was being broken through one by one by someone. There was someone who came from the outside and was entering, and broke open all the spirit formations. Boom finally, another rumble rang out, and looking towards the place where that noise was being emitted, Chu Feng found out that a beautiful body was currently slowly approaching. That beautiful figure was a young female's. She wore a purple-colored skirt had a complexion of absolute beauty, sweet face, graceful body, and alluring curves. Her power was also extremely overpoweringly strong. Although she was only in the ninth level of the profound realm, she was able to easily break open the layers of spirit formation the hundred-faced old man laid earlier. And who else could that young female be? Naturally, it was the person who Chu Feng waited for a long time, Zeling. Zeling. After seeing Zeling, Chu Feng was also elated because not only was Zi Ling going to save him from that place, the most important thing was still that, after waiting for so long, he was finally going to have returns today. After being separated for a few days and seeing Zi Ling again, Chu Feng's feelings were completely different from before. He couldn't help but put down quite a bit of the alert in his heart because, in the past few days when he wandered around the Ken province, other than hearing things about himself, Chu Feng also discovered that in the marriage gathering, the person Zi Ling announced to be the one she loved was him and she even cut off her relationship with the prestigious villa because of that. To be honest, in a time like this when there was even a person willing to follow him, and even stood out to support himself without caring for her own safety, Chu Feng was truly moved in his heart. Real feelings are seen when disaster strikes. Perhaps that was true. But Chu Feng never would have thought that Zi Ling would be the one who was going to back him up the most. It had to be said at that very instant, Chu Feng finally felt that the all sorts of things he did for Zi Ling was worth it. He did not risk his life for nothing, and he did not take those crimes for nothing. Zi Ling. When Zi Ling broke open the last spirit formation, Chu Feng continuously walked several big steps and arrived in front of her. Quickly after, he opened his arms, and like a powerful fierce tiger pouncing on its prey, Chu Feng took Zi Ling's extremely beautiful body into his embrace. At first, when she saw Chu Feng, Zi Ling was very joyful as well. She did not have any objections when Chu Feng hugged her like this. But what could she do when Chu Feng was very dishonest? Not only did he hug Zi Ling very tightly, he even squished Zi Ling's two lumps of softness, her almost developed chest, and deformed them. And after putting Zi Ling into his embrace, Chu Feng's hands had actually unrestrainedly wandered around Zi Ling's body, and that struck her bottom line. It caused Zi Ling's thoroughly white little face to instantly become red. Quickly after, not only did she get rid of Chu Feng's embrace, she also, with a little hand that tore through the air and made hu u sounds, fiercely slapped Chu Feng's face. With a clear bang, Zi Ling's pretty little hand left a deep red colored little handprint on Chu Feng's face. You? Chu Feng was stupefied and thought in his heart, What's this situation? Hasn't she already announced her love to me? Why doesn't she even allow a hug? I dot I know that you must have heard some things. Indeed, I, Zi Ling have already quite. But males and females must keep a distance. Before officially marrying, before I become your wife, don't think of doing impolite things to me, or else. Ling said while pouting. When she spoke to the crucial point, her little face even reddened. That girl was actually embarrassed. 